Hello guys and girls, this is Just M here, we're back in Mtopia. We are actually going to set up base today, or do some of it anyway. Uh, I've seen some YouTubers do like the 5x5s and some do the 7x7s, but I like double doors on mine, so I'm going for the 8x8. It's going to be a pretty big build, I think, if I don't get fed up with it. I'm going to run in all the way along the front and a little bit down the back for now. Uh, we've got a bit of front space here as well. I've just been on my creeper patrol, killed three of them, uh, a couple of spiders about, but that's to be expected. Soldier creepers don't like me. <laughs> I also found my first lot of diamonds. So if you come down here, I will show you because I haven't actually harvested them yet. I thought it was one of those moments that I have to share. Uh, bearing in mind, if you watched the last episode, we did dig down to level 11 without actually finding any kind of path veering off here. So it just went on to a straight run and we seem to have a few dead ends with the uh, lava at the moment. I do have gravel to fill it in, but that'll come. So here you go guys, here's the first lot of diamonds and we shall harvest them together. I've left them right there, four of them. Hopefully there's more. And I really, really... Oh, eight. How beautiful is that? I should have actually took a screenshot of that for my thumbnail. Do you know what you don't think, do you? But yeah, that's my first lot of diamonds harvested. I thought we could share in the experience. Quite excitable. Knowing that I can actually start getting ready to get myself some decent armour. Which I don't have any of at the moment. Period. Which is not a good thing with all the creepers knocking about. Trying to bite me bum. And do you know what? They've succeeded. They actually have succeeded. I came out of my house yeah, when I was collecting my resources. And no word of a lie, there were six all hiding around the corners. Hence all the torches outside the front. They do like to spoil your good work. Guaranteed you make any kind of a build, there's going to be a creeper there. Or a creeper not far from it. Yes, so that's the diamonds. And now, we shall try and make head nor tail of this. I've got, I've actually got in my inventory. Can I go and drop these diamonds back? I'm going to need an item sort soon. But I've got that in hand. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Right. I've actually got spruce logs, oak planks. I'm going to do these for the corners. Spruce and oak I like together. And I also like cobblestone together. So I've got cobblestone slabs, cobblestone stairs, oak logs just in case, oak planks, glass, yada, yada, yada. So we're actually going to try and make something with this. These stones are only actually my markers. So I know what's going where. And as far as these go, I like to start my corners with these. See? I want each one to be 8 by 8 okay. So we've got two there and there for my doors. So we'll have a wall, window, window, door, door, window, window. Do you know what? It doesn't actually seem to be working out right. Let me just chop some of this off because my floor I'm actually going to put as oak planks. And there's quite a few oak trees and spruce trees around. I just have to start going a bit further afield. The main wall at the front, I actually went out of stone bricks. What do you think of that idea? Some people don't like them because they say they're like too bright or too red even. So let me put these down. 
Let's see what we're working with. I don't practice it. I just do it on the fly. Because I find a lot of uh, my good ideas come when I'm, I'm just getting on with it, so to speak. Right, so, now you've got that. Okay, you've got that, that, that and that. And then you've got your door. So if I use these for my actual posts, does it need to come out one? I think it does, doesn't it? Or have I just cocked that one up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight with them. See, that's on there, that's on there. So that should actually come in. I've not actually got an axe. I've just bleeding got rid of that one. I went for my trees. So that and that. So that should give us a six gap. One, two, three, four, five, six between there and there. And obviously that will also, if I don't put it in the wrong place, you don't want to do that. You want to do it like this. Right, so put it in the right place. Right, so that looks more like it. Get rid of them. And we're going to go all the way around them now. Where my cobblestone is. And we're going to do them up two for now. Because I can't reach without climbing. But we're going to get rid of all these. We're going to go up two on each one. Yeah, I will tidy it up once it's actually done. Because these are like the posts in between the buildings, so to speak. So if we get these out of the way start building the posts up we're going to have some kind of pattern to work with aren't we like I said it is going to be a big build but I don't want it so big that I'm going to get frustrated with myself because it's just taking so long it's not going to be done in this episode obviously because it's, it's going to take that amount of time to do it I will be doing some of it off off camera so you're not sitting around getting bored and watching me doing, but I do want you like to follow along with it, if that makes sense. I think it starts getting more interesting once you get your nether portal in, don't it, really? And then you can actually go and start venturing properly. The setting up bits are always the more difficult. And harder to entertain you lot. <laughs> but we'll get there. If it does go dark though, I'll start going dark. I am going to get myself to bed. Because I don't need the phantoms just yet. So I shall not be taking them on. Me and no army against a load of phantoms doesn't work. I, mean, I might have just got, how many diamonds have I just got? The eight. It's, yeah, the eight, the full eight. But that isn't going to do me armour. Might give me a sword, but I don't think that's good enough because they'll take me out in a couple of hits with no armour on, won't they? Right, so we're getting dark. I'm going to get rid of that one. Put these up. Put this one up. Oh, see those it. I'm going to go and get myself to bed. Just watch for the creepers when I wake up. Right, guys, I'm going to go and get some sleep. And I shall be back with you in the morning. Right, so it's the morning after the night before. And I'm on my creeper check. Everything else doesn't bother me so much. Uh, the skeletons and that and the zombies will die with the sunlight. Uh, I'm going to get some of these done over here. and then we're going to have to start climbing because I actually want these up four and then we'll see what's what once I've got the actual structure the floors can probably go in or what parts of the floors I want there for now and I do 
I am thinking of actually putting like two floors on it. Even though it was going to be a one, I thought it would be a lot better. And I'll probably be able to make it look a bit more homely, if you like. Alright, so there's actually no creepers here today. So we've actually got it coming out into like some kind of horseshoe shape. With this back end open. But I've not, not quite decided whether I'm going to close it off yet. I do know that we've got a bit of landscaping to do. If we're going to like close it off and get it as one building with like a central. Like a central courtyard sort of thing. Because we've now got that. And we can start thinking. So if we go along here, I think we've got eight. Eight lots of eight squared, if that makes sense. We've got this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and number eight. Now, I was thinking of doing the central two as some kind of entrance. Probably put, like, some kind of portcullis gate in there. Maybe. Makes sense. See, so on this one now, we have that. I'm going to go across with this. So, you know, if I do it like that, I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, because whether I want them on the corners, like so. Right, we could have them on the corners like that. I do keep misplacing them. I'm just following the floor pattern at the moment. Not that it should be. Uh, do out there like that. On all of them. We've got one, two, three, four, five and six. So we could do that there, that there. That and that there. This is going to be a window. And then we're going to follow it along like this. So we've got, oh, I'm trying to put them down. I haven't even got any in my hand. So we've got like some kind of trim with these spruce logs on the outside. Could look good, but it's like I said, I'm doing it on the fly. And I haven't really got a set plan for any of my builds. I just play it by ear. Because when you're building, it sort of comes to you, doesn't it? Of what you actually want to do. So I'm just going to get the main structure up around like so. And make sure. I'm probably going to run out of... Uh, this, that's why I've got another bit of wood in my inventory. If we do it like this, watch where we're going. Is this the last one? Yeah. And it wants to come out like that. And then further across. Like so. See, the rooms aren't necessarily one room. I could knock a few of these 8x8s. Eight eight. I, I could do this as one like big log chamber sort of thing. I used to say it would stay like that. Do you know what? I'll probably get halfway through the build and think, nah, that doesn't look right. And I'll probably do something else in its place. But it's, you got to try, guys and girls. you got to try. I'm no good at building. Honestly, I'm not. I like building. Don't get me wrong. I actually do like do my builds and stuff but compared to some of the YouTubes on here I mean they're, they're just excellent aren't they they honestly are just excellent and I look at them and think do you know what I could never do that I might be able to if I put my mind to it and they say you can do anything if you put your mind to it but right so we've got that we've got that 
I'm actually going to take that away because I don't want that as a doorway. And I'm going to look for my central two. So there's one, there's two, there's three. So this one here should be one of my central. And then this one here should be the other one because we've got three up that end as well. Now this has to go. I'm going to have to go and make an axe before the next episode, I think. It just takes too long. So we should have 12 coming across here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 doesn't sound right to me. Because they're supposed to be 8 apart. Never mind. Uh, so if we go in. That one there. That one there. We need to find the middle. So half of that is going to be the 7th one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 6. Just chop that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. We've got like some form of entranceway there, haven't we? Obviously, we want this coming up. Out there. We want these going up an extra one. Well, it should start taking shape. I want quite a few windows in it. So whether I'm going to knock some of this oak wood down and just have windows to the floor, I don't know. It's definitely a thought. But I I want it to look like I've actually made an effort as opposed to just throwing it together. So any tips, hints or suggestions guys would be greatly appreciated. The, the, the front of the door is actually going to come out. And it's like I said, I don't... I want to build like some kind of portcullis gate. Which I think would suit it nicely. And it's not actual doors. Because I do want my iron farm and that in. They've got to be X amount of distance away from any doors. Yeah, I think it's about 64 or something. 60 summit. But I'm over 100 away from the villages over there. And I want to try and keep these door free. So if I can put a portcullis sort of thing on. Yes, I know I put that there, but that was just a marker. I'll get rid of them later on. And then I want like this. Four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Get rid of that. And it will be coming out like that, but I'm going to have some kind of fancy, like archway on. A little portcullis gate. I might actually extend it a bit to say there and there. But we'll see. Work in progress, guys and girls. What do you think of my ideas then? Give us a like. Don't forget to subscribe and share this beautiful content. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys and girls. I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo.